Hey everyone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to craft and then use the Geoclis Resonant Stone and then the Anemoclis Resonant Stones. If you don't know already, once these stones have been crafted and then used, they'll place a marker on the map for you so you're able to track and locate any missed Anemoclis or Geoclis. So if you want to craft the Anemo Stone then you have to go to Monster. If you want to craft the Geo Stone then come to Leave it. For this example I've come to leave it because I'm going to craft the Geoclis Resonant Stone. The first thing you want to do is come to the Reputation Vendor who I'm at right now. And after some talking uh, this menu will appear and what you want to do is get to Reputation Level 2 because in order to buy the recipe for the gadget you need to be a minimum of Reputation Level 2. So I'm just accepting all the uh, rewards that I've obtained while I've been playing and once I get to level 2 you'll see me purchase the, the recipe for the Geoclis Resonance Stone. Okay so now that I've bought and learned the recipe I'm going to head to the crafting station and craft the item itself. Right, so I'm at the crafting station now and as you can see I need glaze lily, I need crystal chunks and I also need core lapis to craft the item itself. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that now. And there we go, we just obtained the item. Right, so now that I've crafted the item I'm going to use it. And if you look on the right hand side, there's an option to press Z to activate the item which I've done now and you'll get this small animation. After that, uh, the map will pop up and it will give you the area where uh, Aegeoclis is located. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the location and pick up the Geoclis just to show you that it does actually work. That just about does it for today guys, if you did enjoy the video or you found it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.